Hi everyone, today I want to show you how you can create gears and the power of a certain shortcut. Uh, because I watched uh, recently some YouTube videos on how you can create gears in Photoshop and I saw that uh, people do it in a way that is uh, not that easy and is not so fast. So there is a certain way how you can uh, duplicate uh, things in Photoshop and this is this Ctrl Alt Shift T shortcut uh, that I will show you in a moment. Uh, also I will use a lot of other shortcuts and I have this uh, black bar down here that uh, will show you when I do something and uh, which uh, uh, keys I press on the keyboard and left or right mouse button and so on. So let's get it going. So first I want to have a circle. For that um, I mark with uh, some uh, guides. I mark the middle of my uh, drawing pane. So then I just go here and now when you want to make a circle, okay, you have like an ellipse, then what you can press is shift. This will uh, create uh, the same ratio between the high and the width of the circle. And when you press Alt, it will use the center of the point where you have started. And then you just release your mouse. Cool, so we already have a circle. Let me just do that a bit smaller. Here as well just hold Alt and uh, Shift and it will hold that for you in the middle. Cool, so now we need some square. So like this. And now what I want to do is uh, I want to transform it with uh, perspective. So we get like this small, uh, this small notch or teeth on this uh, gear that we are creating. Just rasterize both of them. So now what you often see when you look videos regarding creating gears, what people do is they duplicate and then they transform and they just go like this and turn it. And that's not so fast and it's not that accurate. So what you can do in Photoshop is really, really great. We have now a duplication of our, um, of our notch here. So what we can do is we take the center point, put it right in the center here, and then we can move it freely around this circle. And when we hold shift, it will position it to uh, 15 degrees. So 15 degrees, 30, 40 degrees, and so on. So now let's say we want uh, 30 degrees and we apply that. And now we could do that over and over again, but we have this really nice shortcut, Ctrl, Alt, Shift and T. And then we just hit that over and over again. And then we have our, our gear here. So what does uh, Ctrl, Alt, Shift, T do? It's uh, quite easy. It takes your last transformation that you did copies the current layer and applies this uh, same transformation. Okay, cool. Um, now there's another really cool shortcut that I want to show you. Um, now we want to have all these things here on one layer. So I disable the background and then there is a Ctrl Alt Shift E and this uh, will create a merge of all the layers that are visible onto a new layer. 
So let's do that. Take our background, take this off, and you see we have our single layer here. Now, what else? Let's here as well. Let's mark here the center and delete that part. Now what we could do is create some inner part like that. So come on. Sometimes it doesn't work that well, but okay. So you can basically do whatever you want inside here. We already had some examples here. I recently did uh, like uh, 70 different uh, 70 different gears. Um, I will put some links in the description where you can download them. Uh, okay, then let's do another layer. Okay. And just Control Alt. So, cool. Now as well, what you can do is when you want uh, to have some, let's say, another design. You can take an ellipse here, like that. So, then let's do that in a group and rasterize. And then let's copy that as well. Put it right in the middle, like this. So, so you can add more details to your um to your gear. Let's uh, merge all that. This is Control E, I think, exactly, and now. I can with uh, control I can select this uh, the visibility of this layer and I can just go here and hit delete and this will give me already some quite nice design now let's take that again let me just take that a little bit down now what I want to do is I want to punch some holes inside here, so I turn that like this. Again with control hit the layer and just delete. It's a very nice gear, cool. Um, this technique with the with this power duplication, you can use it on a uh, whole lot of different shapes. Uh, let me show you one example. For example, here, let's do some shape like this. Okay, then fill that with another gradient. Oh, white paint. Mm -hmm. Hey. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So now what I want to do is transform that a little bit, that we get a really nice shape with this or twirl, Let's twirl that around like this and now as we have our center point here we can determine more or less how big our circle will be 
that we will do. So let's say we want to do it like like that. Okay, let's uh, hit Ctrl J to duplicate. And then we transform that. So, holding shift will, will fix it, it on 15 degrees. Fix, fix it. Uh, I don't know. Control shift T, 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 T. And like this, you can create a whole lot of different. Uh, different circle designs or store designs also with a single shape already you can do like whole ton of designs so just let me show you that quite easy okay cool so I think that's that shows you what you can do with this really nice Ctrl Shift T shortcut. And yeah, um, I will put some links in the description. Um, as well, if you want to support me and see more videos, uh, just uh, like, subscribe, and share. Um, I know YouTubers do that all the time, and that is for a good reason because as more you like and subscribe and share, as more the videos will get watched and yeah, it's just more fun and I don't earn cash with, uh, with these videos, but other YouTubers do, so it's like their uh, daily bread. So yeah, uh, what you can do as well is go to my shop, um, link is in the description and uh, buy something from me. I have a shop with tons of brushes. And yeah, see you next time in the next video. Thanks for watching.